Hello again, it's Steve Hostetter with Rocktown ICF Supply in Harrisonburg, and we are still on the site here at the Slavic Church. We have mainly finished up the pour, but I would like to talk in more detail about how we go about pouring the walls. We initially got in the largest boom pump in the area. The process is that he sets up and then the concrete trucks come and back up to him and dump their concrete into what's called a hopper. And they basically suck the concrete up through very large hoses and up a boom. And the boom brings it over into the wall and we hold onto the hose and place it exactly in the wall where we want it. The other type of pumps are line pumps that are a trailer onto a truck and that way the hose lays on the ground and couples together in as long of a sequence as you need so typically a line pump is used for flat work footers and things where you don't have to elevate the hose it takes more effort and more time to use a line pump they're a bit slower but very versatile in where they can reach boom pumps are great to use in these situations because of their reach and low effort on our part to control where the concrete goes, where a line pump takes a bit more manpower. Once the concrete goes into the forms, there is a lot of hydraulic pressure, meaning pressure from the liquid of the concrete that any weakness in the block, any flaw in a brace not being tight will show up so that's why we use the turnbuckle bracing that we can go back and adjust them later as the concrete tries to either push or pull a wall. We also have the preformed corners which is wonderful because they are very strong around the corner so the concrete as we pour it it flows around the corner and flows pretty much um, on a 45 degree angle out in front of us so the the thickness of the concrete is very important to have the proper slump, kind of a medium to where it's not too wet and it flows too, too quickly or too dry to where you might have cavities in the concrete. In this large commercial building, not only is there a huge volume of walls to do, but they also go 20 feet up. So we decided to only pour halfway this time and then brace, bring the bracing and scaffolding up to the upper levels and pour that at the end. Within a day, the horizontal walls are not gonna move if you take the bracing down. What we do keep up is wherever you have a doorway or a window that you have concrete go across. So thanks again for watching this video. I'm Steve Hostetter with Rocktown ICF Supply and we will invite you back again when we go higher with our walls and continue on with another pour.